Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nanye Ojibe and I am the creative mind behind McFay. Manifestations come fast and easy. This channel is all about spirituality and the process in manifesting because it is not about getting something, claiming you want something and then you get it. No, manifestation is about becoming the person that is able to receive your desire manifestations. So it's, it goes a little bit deeper. You step into more of authenticity. You step into more into who you are created to be in this manifestation spiritual process. So with all that being said, I just want to share some thoughts that I had on this manifestation spiritual process. Because when you truly think about it, it is you becoming your best self. It's you stepping into more of you being you. And with that being said, when you are truly being you, you should know that you are already enough. You are already more than enough. You are already blessed. You already have the talents and the strengths and everything you need already within you. So there's really nothing you have to try to do. You just have to do it. You can't try to do anything. You don't try. It's like either yes or no. You are or you aren't. You're either doing it or you're not. So with all that being said, once you state who you are, or once you state that you are this being with the desired manifestations, once you state that you're now living this lifestyle, you're now living within your reality of having everything that you desire, just walk the path. Know that there is not something that you have to try to do. Really what it looks like is you evolving. You're becoming the improved you, the 2.0 you. And once you see the vision of the 2.0 you, and then you are doing the work, you are then acting like the 2.0 you. You're behaving like your authentic self regardless of what other people think or say. You're doing it now. You will then see your reality that reflects the way you are being. A lot of times in this process, a lot of us like to see the signs first and then we can step into that being. You know, if we say we want to be a millionaire, we first want to see at least $100. We first want to see at least $100,000. We first want to see the money before we can then become or claim that we are a millionaire. But the signs follow. They do not proceed. You have to first become it. You have to first state it. You have to first declare it, act like it, own it, embrace it. And then the universe, the circumstances, your reality will have no choice but to abide. You tell the universe what it is. You tell your reality what it is. You don't allow your reality to tell you what you are. Because <laughs> our reality is changing. Do not base your internal compass on the outside. Get it rooted into your mind. Get it rooted into your body and your spirit. You tell yourself what time it is. You tell yourself who you are. Everything in our reality is nothing more than a reflection than our inner reality. So once you can switch up your inner reality, the outer reality will reflect it. And with that, it's so easy. It's not hard. I think in life, because we're taught that we have to work hard, that's how we think good things come. But because you are already an amazing person, because you are already born with such beautiful talents and unique gifts, because you have something, a light within you that is meant to be shared and ignited with others, there is nothing that you have to do. You just really have to get out your own way. That's probably the hardest part in this whole process is getting out of your own way, is relaxing, is surrendering, is detaching, and allowing that energy of who you already are to flow through you. So I'm in New York City right now and I'm taking acting classes because why not I like to discover new things I like to learn new things about myself I like to step out of my comfort zone and just explore so one thing that my acting teacher says over and over again when we're trying to deliver our lines one thing that he says all the time is just keep it simple and stupid like don't try so hard just say your lines from a real space from a real place don't act it don't do the most. Don't try to be the character. Just be it. Keep it simple and stupid. And I love that philosophy. I love that concept when applying it into just every day. <laughs> when we're out here evolving and being our best selves, we don't have to try to prove anything to anybody, not even to yourself. You don't have to prove it. You don't have to try. You really just have to get out your own way. 
because you already are that. Once you claim it, once you know that in your mind, like once you have stated it in your heart, just do it. It's simple. Get out your own way. Because you know an actor or when you hear acting, you know, we want to be dramatic. We, we want to have the theatrics. Like, oh my gosh, why did you do that? You hurt my heart. You hurt my feelings. Like we think that's what an actor is supposed to be doing. But he reminds us to just keep it simple and stupid. Like, what are you doing? I laugh, but you know, that's was a laugh. <laughs> I laughed at myself. I giggled at myself right now. But it's like, what are you, what are you doing? You just broke my heart. You know, I'm still in the class, so let me not act like I'm out. I'm Angela Bassett out here. <laughs> I ain't Angela Bassett yet, but you know what? You never know. But it's supposed to just be real simple when we act the lines. Let it come from a real place in your heart. You don't have to do all the theatrics. You don't have to go out and try to prove and do the most. Doing the most will probably get you further away from your desires. Because it's like, you do not believe that you are it. So you have to try to convince others to then convince yourself. You're working twice as hard. But it doesn't work like that. Once you convince yourself, others will believe you. And the only reason why you probably haven't got your manifestations is because you're working too much. You're putting too much energy on other people. You're putting too much energy on the outside world rather than the inside world. Rather than how you feel. Rather than your relationship with self. self Self-love. You're not putting too much self-care into you. If anything, if any hard or work has to come into it, it's the inner work. It's the learning how to love yourself. It's the learning how to detach. It's the learning how to step out of imposter syndrome and know that you are already great. In order to really have imposter syndrome, though, is to first be the thing and then go outside of yourself and think that you're not. (laughs) That's what you have to do in order to have imposter syndrome. You're already it. But now you are lying to yourself. You're denying yourself. You're claiming that you're not. And that's why you have the imposter syndrome. So you're again working hard. (laughs) You're doing extra work and it's not called for. So just keep it simple. Keep it simple and stupid. Just flow. Allow yourself to just love yourself and know that you are already great. You already have everything that you need. Yes, you may have to study. Yes, you may have to practice and fall and get up and do it all over again. But Once you know that you are already the desire, the process then becomes fun because you're learning, you're gaining techniques, you're gaining wisdom. You understand that it's all part of the process. It really doesn't matter how many times you fall because you already know it's it and you already know what's going to pop. You already know what time it is. You're waiting on God's timing, like due timing because you know what's going to come. You have trust, you have patience, you surrender Life is good now. It's simple. Nothing on the outside. Your circumstances is not sweating it anymore. No need to sweat it. You can relax and just chill. That reminds me of the story in the Bible when Jesus was on a boat with a couple other people and the water was rocky and Jesus was in that boat chilling, (laughs) like sleeping, knocked out, even though it was Chaos on the outside, turbulence, water shaking the boat. The people on the boat were terrified. They didn't know if they could survive. But you see, Jesus was knocked out because he knew. He knew who he was. He knew that God got him. Didn't matter what was happening on the outside. Things got rocky. Chaos was happening all around him. But he knew. So my man was knocked out. (laughs) He woke up to them and was like, man, y'all still don't have faith? I thought I told y'all. I thought y'all knew. So he just calmed them down. He he, he, he caught the water to calm down and then it did. Because that's that belief. When you speak it, when you speak with belief, when you speak with knowing, with a certainty, the reality changes. You tell the reality what it is. Don't allow yourself to be consumed by what you see. And it could really be that easy. It's really that easy. Allow your manifestations to just flow to you. Claim it. Call it, declare it, act like it, believe it, and then you will see. You will see all your manifestations come to you fast and easy. Okay? Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next week. Bye.